For today's Cinema 4D Quick Tip, we'll look at a few of the different ways that you can configure your view panels for the optimum efficiency as you're working in Cinema 4D. I'm sure most Cinema 4D users are familiar with the four view panels, which you can bring up by clicking the icon in the upper corner of the perspective view or by hitting the F5 button. And by default, those view panels are the perspective, top, right, and front views. You can access these individually using the F1, F2, F3, and F4 keys. Now, it's important to note that those keys are related to the individual panels themselves, not to the views they represent. So if I hit F2, it's going to bring up the top view merely because this view panel here is showing the top view. If I set this view panel to the scene camera here, for instance, I will then pull up the scene camera when I hit F2. So it's important to understand the relationship between the keyboard shortcuts and the view panels, as well as to understand that in addition to filtering what is shown in each view panel and setting the shading options for each view panel, you can adjust what view is actually shown for each view panel. Another thing that's important to realize is that you're not locked into four view panels in this arrangement. That's merely the default. If you drop down the panel menu of any of the four view panels, you'll see an arrangement option. And here you can choose the arrangement of views that you'd like to use. So for instance, when I'm working on a landscape like this, I'll often work in something like a three or four view right split mode. And here what I can do is set this camera here to use the default or editor camera and I'll set a perspective view up here that's using the scene camera. And we can adjust the height of that so that it more directly relates to the aspect ratio of our output. And then this camera here, I would probably usually use in the top view so that I can get a quick overview of the layout of my scene. Now, of course, because I have adjusted my panel layout, my keyboard shortcuts are going to change. The F1 key is going to show my editor camera. The F2 key is going to show my animated scene camera. And the F3 key is going to show the top view. You can also still access the F4 panel, even though when you hit F5, that panel is not going to be shown. So the only way to see that panel then is to use the F4 keyboard shortcut. Now, if this isn't enough for you, you can also open up a new view panel and each of these new view panels can be docked wherever you'd like in your interface and those view panels can have their own arrangements. So you can set up a very flexible system for viewing your scene regardless of what type of scene it is. That's it for today's quick tip. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please like, share, and visit cineversity.com for more great Cinema 4D tutorials and resources.